Hi guys, you're watching K Movie Express, and I'm your host, Urie. This show is to introduce a variety of Korean movies, both latest and old time favorite, to movie enthusiasts around the world. This show is not a review. It contains the premise of a film and a few comments on its theme, but generally spoiler-free. Today, I present Psychokinesis, a new movie by Sang Ho Yeon, whose 2016 Train to Busan showed the world that Korea also can make zombie movies. <laughs> Young started his career as a talented animation filmmaker. He earned a huge fan base by making socially critical movies such as The King of Pigs and The Fake. In these movies, he proved the dark side of Korean society such as violence, religion, and the military. In 2016, Yeon released his first live-action feature film, Train to Busan. It was very well received domestically and became the 11th grossing film of all time. This is quite an achievement because zombie movies traditionally don't do very well in Korea. It also went to show the world that Korean can deliver quality zombie movies. In the same year, Yeon released Seoul Station, an animated feature film that shares the same universe with Train to Busan. Yeon may have moved on to making live action films, but his identity as an animation filmmaker seems to be intact. If you enjoyed Train to Busan, make sure to check out Seoul Station. It makes a great accompanying piece. Psychokinesis is a new movie written and directed by Yeon, and it was released on January 31st here in Korea. As he did with his feature film debut, director Yeon chose a unique theme, psychokinesis, which is very rare for a Korean filmmaker. This alone would create some buzz, but what's more interesting is that um, the, this is a movie about the Yongsan tragedy of 2009, a fire that is still vivid in the memory of many Koreans. Yongsan is a neighborhood in Seoul, the capital city of South Korea. It was zoned for urban redevelopment in 2006. By next year, tenants began protesting for their rights because they were about to be kicked out from their houses and shops without a proper monetary compensation. In the winter of 2008, Contract gangsters began tearing down buildings in a brutal manner. Protests from tenants became fiercer. Then, on January 20th, 2009, a fire broke during a police-led forced eviction. Six people were killed and 24 wounded. It is remembered as the most tragic accident during the Yi Myung-bak administration. Actually, a large number of citizens gathered to protest against the administration that backed such brutality. Even now, there is public demand to investigate the truth behind the fire and punish those responsible. Director Yeon faces this tragedy head-on in Psychokinesis. Our leading man, seok -hyun, is a divorced security guard who lives through his miserable life. One day, he accidentally swallows a mysterious creature and his body starts to change. He now holds psychokinetic power. This may remind you of Josh Chang's 2012 Chronicle, but Seok uses his power to promote the public interests 
rather than to gain private wealth or express pent-up anger. His ex-wife was killed during forced eviction and his daughter is one of the protesters against the government brutality. His power became a valuable weapon. Most Koreans witnessed this tragedy live on TV that fateful day. Director Yeon may have wished for a Superman-like hero to show up and save those people. In this regard, psychokinesis can be described as a work of the director's goodwill. Unlike Chronicle, this movie does not focus on the spectacle of destruction. The Yongsan tragedy is not over and still an ongoing story. This is where psychokinesis differs from any other superhero movies. Wait, does this mean this movie is depressing through and through? Not at all. Psychokinesis is over a fun, cheerful movie with lots of humorous components. The way Sakyun comes to learn his superhuman power is quite funny. Here, director Yeon challenges the Korean moviegoers with a homegrown superhero movie, just as Train to Busan single-handedly brought light to zombie flicks in Korea. I hope the audience around the world will also enjoy his ambitious project. As long as the Yongsan tragedy is concerned, then President Lee Myung-bak should be the one most accountable. Five years into retirement, he is currently under scrutiny for his alleged abuse of power and taxpayers' money during his term. Many Koreans hope that he, he will get indicted. It will console victims of the Yongsan tragedy and only then they will be able to move on with their lives. After watching Psychokinesis, I hope you will come to understand such sentiment. Thanks for watching my show. If it was helpful, please click that like button and subscribe for future episodes.